Our solar system is a busy place filled with planets, moons, asteroids, and comets, our cosmic family. But in 2017 we received a visitor unlike any before, Umuamua. Its name, Hawaiian for messenger from afar, was fitting. This was the first object we'd ever detected from another star system passing through our neighborhood. Umuamua was mysterious from the start. Telescopes saw only a tiny point of light, but its behavior was strange. It moved incredibly fast and tumbled in a way we'd never seen. Its brightness suggested a bizarre shape, maybe long and thin or flat like a pancake. Unlike any asteroid or comet we knew, it sparked global curiosity. After swinging around the sun, Umuamua sped up, accelerating in a way gravity alone couldn't explain. Comets sometimes do this, but we saw no gas, no tail, no coma. It was just accelerating, silently, a puzzle from the stars challenging our understanding. For years, Umuamua remained an enigma, a ghostly visitor leaving more questions than answers. Was it a new kind of natural object, a fragment of an alien world, or something else entirely? With only a fleeting glimpse, we needed a better view. To solve the mystery, we needed a more powerful eye, one that could pierce the darkness. We needed a new kind of telescope. The world waited, hoping for a breakthrough. The story of Umuamua was just beginning. Our search for answers would soon take a giant leap forward. The universe had sent us a challenge, and we were ready to meet it. Enter the James Webb Space Telescope, a giant golden eye in space. Launched in 2021, Webb is the most powerful space observatory ever built. It orbits a million miles from Earth, far from our planet's glare, for a crystal clear view. Webb sees the universe in infrared, the light of heat, perfect for spotting cool, distant, or hidden objects. Its massive gold-coated mirror collects faint ancient light revealing what other telescopes can't. Webb can peer through cosmic dust, study distant galaxies, and analyze the chemistry of asteroids and comets. Its sensitivity is so great, it could detect the heat of a bumblebee on the moon. For a faint, mysterious object like Umuama, Webb was our best hope. Before Webb, we peered through a keyhole. Now the door to the universe was wide open. This telescope was built to answer our biggest questions. Where did we come from? Are we alone? And now, it was about to focus on our interstellar visitor, promising to turn speculation into discovery. The stage was set for a cosmic revelation. How could Webb see Oumuamua, years after it passed by? A team of astronomers tracked its path with precision, realizing it would briefly align with Webb's scheduled observations, a cosmic coincidence. They rushed an urgent proposal, arguing this was a historic chance. After a rapid review, the mission was approved. Webb's schedule shifted for a high-stakes celestial chase. Umuamua, now faint and cold, could only be seen in infrared. Webb's mid-infrared instrument, MIRI, was used to detect its faint heat and reflected light. The telescope stared at a patch of empty sky for hours, hoping to catch the elusive visitor. Tension ran high. Would they see it or just darkness? This was a one-shot deal. Miss it and the chance was gone forever. But Webb did not fail. After hours of patient observation, the first photons from Oumuamua formed an image. The messenger from afar was about to reveal its secrets. The image from Webb was breathtaking. For the first time, Oumuamua was more than a point of light. It had shape, texture, and detail. It wasn't a simple cigar or pancake, but a complex elongated structure, about 400 meters long and 40 meters wide. Its surface was rugged, pitted, and dark with a reddish hue, like icy bodies in our solar system. Some patches were surprisingly reflective, almost metallic. This mosaic of materials hinted at a violent or complex origin. Craters and fissures told of eons spent traveling through interstellar space. Webb's instruments also performed spectroscopy, breaking down its light into chemical fingerprints. No water ice coma was found, but faint traces of frozen nitrogen and carbon monoxide were detected. This suggested gentle, unseen outgassing was causing its acceleration. A comet, but unlike any we'd seen. Time-lapse images showed Oumuamua tumbling in a chaotic, complex way, likely from an ancient collision. Seeing this motion directly gave us new insight. The mystery was beginning to unravel. We were finally seeing the true face of our interstellar visitor. With Webb's data, the detective story kicked into high gear. The clear signs of nitrogen ice outgassing explained its mysterious acceleration. No alien engines needed. Umuamua was likely a natural object, but a rare one. One leading theory, it's a nitrogen iceberg, a fragment from a Pluto-like planet in another star system. This would explain its shape, composition, and lack of a water-based coma, a shard of an exo-Pluto, wandering the galaxy for eons. Still, 
Its unusual shape left room for debate. Some suggest it could be a fragile, porous, cosmic dust bunny formed in an interstellar cloud. And while the evidence for a natural origin is strong, some wonder if we should rule out artificial origins entirely. The web image showed no engines or windows but revealed an object more complex than we imagined. The wonder and the questions remained alive. Before Webb, our ideas about Oumuamua were pure speculation, cigar shapes, pancakes, and solar sails. These were creative guesses based on faint flickers of light. The new image swept away old models, revealing a rugged, irregular shard. Nature's imagination, it turns out, is far greater than ours. The hydrogen iceberg theory was discarded. Webb found nitrogen, not hydrogen. This is science in action. Propose a hypothesis, gather new data, and test it. The alien solar sail idea also faded. Webb showed a thick, solid object, not a thin sheet. Nitrogen outgassing explained its acceleration, no need for alien tech. While alien visitors are exciting to imagine, science follows the evidence. Right now, the evidence points to a natural, extraordinary origin. The reality is just as thrilling as the speculation. Oumuamua's true nature is a testament to the surprises the universe holds. Each discovery brings us closer to understanding our place in the cosmos. Webb's data lets us rewrite Oumuamua's story, from what if to what is. Precise measurements of its size, shape, and rotation feed new models, simulating its journey through the galaxy. Chemical data is revolutionary. Finding nitrogen ice suggests Oumuamua came from a system with Pluto-like worlds. This hints that such planetary bodies may be common across the galaxy. Isotopes of nitrogen and carbon monoxide offer clues about its birthplace, like analyzing the DNA of a rock from another star, we're charting the galaxy's chemical diversity, one visitor at a time. This is a new field of astronomy, made possible by Webb. We now know interstellar objects pass through our solar system regularly. The upcoming Vera C. Rubin Observatory will find many more. Lessons from Oumuamua will guide us, building a field guide to interstellar travelers. The first chapter of a new era has begun. The first real image of Oumuamua sent a wave of excitement through science and the public, for astronomers it opened a new frontier, studying the galaxy, piece by piece as it comes to us. This single observation gave us more information about interstellar objects than years of speculation. For the public, it's a story that connects us to the cosmos, a reminder that we're part of a galactic community. The image of Oumuamua is a new icon of exploration, sparking imagination and curiosity. The search is on for the next interstellar visitor. With new telescopes, we expect to find more every year, and next time, we'll be ready. Some dream of sending a probe to intercept one, to see it up close. The challenges are immense, but the dream is powerful. We live in a remarkable time. Our golden eye has shown us a visitor from another star. We stand at the dawn of a new age of discovery. Umwamua's message, the universe is filled with wonders we're only beginning to understand, and most importantly, it told us to keep looking up, the cosmos is waiting.